everybody, this is Maria with Desert Cloud Soapworks and today I got some cool molds to show you. Check these out. These are from BB Crafts and the link to them is in the description of the video. So go over there, check it out. They got all kinds of craft stuff. <laughs> you name it, they got it, okay? Uh, one of the things they have are these bath bomb molds. These are very cool, as you can see. We got some starfish and these are big molds too. This, they're, not, they're not small at all. Some of these are very big. Look at that. Could you imagine bath bomb like that? It's a big bath bomb. This would also work very well for shower steamers, okay? Because shower steamers are flat on the bottom so they sit on the shower floor, but it's a cool design for it, right? We got shells, hearts, and even in the complete set, because this comes as a set, when you order from BB Crafts, you get the three different sizes of bath bombs here and even the little ones which are very expensive. I mean I've tried to find this little tiny mold for a small bath bomb and just this alone, the cheapest price I saw was five dollars and then they're shipping on top of that. So considering the fact that you get the little bomb mold, the other sizes, plus all these other cool ones for one price over there on BB Crafts, then that's way worth it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bath bomb or two or three depending on how much mix I got to fill up these molds and we'll see how it comes out. Now I got my mix already set up here. Uh, just so you know this is a cup of baking soda, half a cup cornstarch, half a cup of citric acid and a heaping half cup of milk powder. I just use regular non-fat dry milk and it gives me the good foaming action without having to use SLSA. The color is cosmetic grade pigment so because I'm using that you got to use some poly 80 in your wet ingredients. Wet ingredients consist of fragrance, uh, six teaspoons of water and of course the poly 80. Alright I got the perfect consistency here on my mix and if you're wondering those little white specks in there. That is actually from the powdered milk. You can choose to kind of grind up your powdered milk more than it is when it comes out of the bag, but I kind of like the look of it with the white specks. So let's pick a mold. All right, I'm gonna do the starfish to start. So just fill it up like you would any other bath bomb. Make sure to make a huge mess like I just did on the counter. Because if you don't make a mess, you're not doing it right. We all know that. I have to thank Shannon Reader out there for sending me the Poly 80. That's super awesome. Thank you so much, Shannon. Okay, and then just mush together. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a top, and this is going to be my top. I'm going to add just a little bit of glitter to the inside of the mold here and then re-squish it down. You could add this in the beginning as well. But I didn't think about it until just now, so that's why I'm adding it now. Cool. I'm going to have this sit in the mold until it gets a little hard on top, then I'm going to flip it over, let the other side dry. The way I do it here, what works for me, half hour open on one side, put the mold on, flip it over, half hour on that side, and then actually if you stick them in the refrigerator, at least for me it works, it works that way too. And the same thing, half hour in the refrigerator on one side, flip it over, then on the other side. It actually helps them dry a lot faster. Here's another one right there. That's awesome. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the rest here and put these in the drying area and I'll come back when they're all dry and show them to you. I'll have to demo one too. Super awesome sparkle bombs. These things are really big guys. Look, 
Look at the thickness of these bombs, man. They're monster bombs. These really uh, thick molds would make great for shower steamers, man. That'd be perfect for shower steamers. Little guys, and <laughs> my little guy here. So cool looking. Okay. You can get these molds over at BB Crafts. And again, the link is in the description of the video. Go check it out. I have another video I'm going to be doing for them for some other things that they sent me. And uh, yeah, you'll, you'll see. They've, they've got all kinds of cool stuff. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and stick one of these in the water. And these are not even 100% dry yet, but i got to put it in the water. I think I'm going to use this one right here. These three are, are reserved. But this this bad boy let's go stick this in the water because it's not dry completely it's probably not gonna fizz as much as it would as if it was dry it's pretty heavy too so because it's not dry so it's gonna probably sink let's put it in there oh no it floats cool you gotta love that milk powder Now, usually when they're not dry, they don't float, but these ones are floating for me. Cool beans. Don't have that much fizz going on. That's that's why it's just not dry enough. But those of you who are wondering about how do you get bubbles without SLSA, well, here you go. They got a nice purple and white swirl too. That's really cool. Starting to dissolve down. Actually, no, it's not dissolving down. It's actually the the foam from the milk powder is is engulfing it. Wow, this thing is going to be overflowing in a minute. I know it. It's good. They're still growing. Look how high it got. <laughs> it's going to go over soon. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> well, there you go. You have a good idea how these bombs uh, come out out of those molds. They, they worked great. And, wow, this is really expanding a lot. Oh, it's still floating. Huh. It's going down in size a bit, but it still floats. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to play with this a little bit longer. Alright, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!